Well, well, well. Welcome, welcome, Ultimate fans, to Friday Night Ultimate in Harriman, Utah. It is a bit of a scorcher out today, but with the sun setting, should be cooling down a little bit, and I believe we will have perfect weather for Ultimate tonight, and maybe, just maybe, a perfect matchup, too. These teams uh, already matched up last week, 19 to 18 in favor of the Shred. The Shred's first ever career victory over the Summit after going 0 and 3 against them last year. And the Summit are in town to try and even the series. As well, so should be interesting to see if the Shred are able to gum up the works at all. Spicer. Find success upfield to Abel. Abel letting one rip. Looking for Quinn Finer. And he that is not caught. I mean, oh, the ref's calling it up, but he did not. <laughs> We're going to see what happens here. Weinberg now. Ever hard. Chance to get it to the break side, though, but no cuts. Here's Chad Jorgensen. He'll shoot. Weinberg picking Weinberg. up the first break of the game. Completely unstoppable. He's been doing this for a long time, folks. It's part of what makes Salt Lake a little bit scary is their young talent plays like veterans between him and Will Selfridge. I mean, okay, we got a big throw here. Sean Canole is in the area, but what a throw. Just going to sail right over, no problem for Todd Wolma. That was a dime ball. Was that Jay Fruit? Who threw that? Jukes. Jacob Miller, a little bit of miscommunication. Doesn't matter. Will Selfridge will run it down. <laughs> oh, to have that acceleration. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, able to save it from Miller there. And won't find the give and go across. Selfridge will hit the around instead. Jordan, <laughs> Jordan Kerr makes an amazing grab to keep it in bounds. And then we'll hit that inside. Uh, <sighs> Elijah Jaime snagging it away from the defender. That is close for comfort. <laughs> that is Absolutely. close for comfort. Several throws in a row. Yeah, that is uh, not the play that Coach Bryce Merrill drew up, I'm sure. But fantastic grab here from Kerr. Almost has a little bit of conservation of greatness here as he's excited. And Finds Abel. Abel over to Spicer. Spicer's going to air one deep to Frude. And no one's close enough. Chad Jorgensen and Weinberg trying to close the gap, but it won't happen against Jay Frude. Not when you give him a seven-foot head start. Or a no score. We'll see here. Sean Canole finds Dunabile. Dunabile looking. He's going to make big cross-field shot. Sails over. There's a mag. Oh. It won't happen. Sails. Stadium there. Uh, I, that is a match I am looking forward to watching tomorrow. There's a shot from Jace Dunabile looking for Will Selfridge already. Selfridge, and with a just cheeky pass to Jaime to finish it off, Selfridge looked like he hung in the air for like three seconds for that. Great effort on defense there from Seth Ferris, I believe that was, with the bid. Summit are, I think, much the same. So two young teams that are able to, wow, here's a shot from Alex Adkins. Frude's going to try to chase it down, and he will, no trouble. Doesn't even have to leave his feet. Extends the left hand and collects another goal for Colorado, making it six to five. That was perfectly in stride for Jay Fru. Didn't need to have to put a bid on it. Um, and honestly, I know it's early. Those players are the type of player that can do it. Not able to pin it on the sideline is the shred. Uh, Colorado will get started with some swings to the other side. And here comes Finer already, nice and quick. Ooh, Weinberg threatening. They will call that in for a goal. That's Stoughton with it. another, I believe that's his second so far tonight. Yeah. And I, no, definitely agreed. I especially want to make that clear since, oh, a miscommunication from the summit. That'll give it back to the Shreds D-line. And there we go. That is the break chance away from the summit with a chance to hold for the D-line. D-line off to the race is already half field. Great snag from Braden Eberhard for the disc behind him. And here's a Shred's chance to slow it down just a little bit if they choose to, but they will not. They will instead shoot and find Chad Jorgensen. That is a hold. Opinion is one of the most brutal things you can do because not only does the O-line have to adjust. Wow, here comes Atkins already wanting to shoot. And another deep look. That is 
is gonna be unblockable. Stoughton picks up another. Wow, that was a gorgeous throw. Just sailing, giving the defender no chance. Yeah, I mean, hate to say I told you so, but I think Alex Atkins may just have figured out this win. Look at this shot over the help. <laughs> right? <laughs> exactly. Don't try and rush the pace against a defense. Oh, and here Sean comes a shot looking for Jordan Kerr. Finds him. Great huck there from Sean Canole. He'll look for Jace Dunabile. Inside backhand. Just airs it out. <laughs> Let's it sit as if on a yo-yo. Jace Dunabile runs it down. I like that play. Outside of that one to Selfridge, one of their first kind of downwind connections. They haven't been hitting it quite like the Summit have. Well, to Colorado's credit. Ben Ashton! Oh! Superman Ben! What a play from Ben Ashton. Selfridge manages to make everything look athletic. Jacob Miller finds Sean Canole. Sean Lots Canole does have a target. It'll float, though. Jordan what a Kerr! grab from Jordan Kerr! Wow! I don't know if he does yoga. But the bend in that spine, tell me he does because... That but like you said, this clock will start with the first throw. Here we go, Atkins. He's just going to let one rip. This would be a, a record-breaking distance throw. Won't get there. Anderson tries to get the hammer off in time. Are they going to count it? I don't think so. Jordan Kerr bats it down just in case. Bit of a comfort zone for Salt Lake, right? It's 11 to 11, but you can kind of expect... Oh, Ben Ashton there kind of signaling to the refs that he wanted to push off call. Won't get it. Oof. High, high stall situation, that and the ref calls call it a stall. It's called. What a pressure <laughs> turnover from the Salt Lakes defense there. The double team goes on, and here comes Chad Jorgensen to toe the line. That is a break for the Salt Lake shred, just like that. They break back, and that's the type of energy that is going to get the crowd riled up. Crazy. Ultimate fans are crazy. They get riled up over things like stall calls. <laughs> <laughs> Stall calls and big layouts, but that is exactly that forward hand, that left hand reaching out. It's a more difficult grab. Dunabai will release one for Will Selfridge. Tabor can't catch up. Will Selfridge is going to pull it in, driving the bus. The celebration he made famous last year. It's back. 13 to 12 to Atkins. Atkins looking hungry. Spicer finding himself wide open. There's a bit of a miscommunication, it looks like, from the shred. Uh, they're leaving someone wide open. Oh, Braden Eberhard, almost but not quite able to get there. That's the a, Summit will punch it in. That's a beautiful point from Colorado Summit. These, these pulls are getting large. They're getting menacing. Sean Canole airs went out for Jordan Kerr. This is a big throw. It's going to float, though. A lot of bodying out four players in the area. Jordan, Jordan Kerr comes Kerr. down with it. Somehow he goes up. He's on an elevator, and he comes down with the greatest gift that anybody could ask for. That was a special goal for Jordan Kerr. And he smacks it down on the field in the exact spot. Atkins crushed the disc only a couple plays before. This game is getting a little bit interesting, a little bit chippy, and we are here for it. We'll see another angle. Tangle of bodies, lots of boxing out. Snuska unable to get the finger on it, and Kerr is the beneficiary, reels it in. Another Luke. Finds Sean shot. Canole up line. Sean Good. Canole will shoot cross field, looking for Jace Dunabile. Snuska in the area, tall player, but unable to reel it in. Uh, that was just, you got to hand it to Snuska because that was su such an incredible run. He closed that gap so well. Just timed his jump a little bit wrong. I think if he had held up another half second, he would have been there. Hoffman closing in on the mark. Back to Spicer. Spicer running ever hard on the give and go. Oh, a bit of a miscommunication. And Spicer takes advantage on the switch there. And here he'll shoot to the end zone. Looking for Atkins. No problem. Atkins. Alex Atkins is going to bring this to a one-point game. 17-16. Bill Selfridge said that mark by Olsen. Jordan Kerr. Nice. Finds Jacob Miller, who's going to air out one of the one or two deep looks he does every game. Jaime will bring it into the back of the end zone. 18-16 for Salt Lake. Only a receiver like Elijah Jaime can make that throw look that easy. He Still looking. Big layout from Weinberg. Great help here from the shred. Not allowing an open cut. Oh, there was one. 
Atkins. That was a shock. Does reel it in. He and that is a break for the Colorado Summit. And he is going to get jeers from the crowd. <laughs> Lindsley to McKay Jorgensen. McKay Jorgensen airing one out to Jordan Kerr around the shoulder of the defender. <laughs> Finer will have her. No, that's not Finer. Who was that? Bridge threatening to take off. He's going to cut back. That'll float. Will Miller be able to keep? Wow, big catch for Miller. He'll want to play on the give and go here. And he gets lots of space. Miller's still open. Defender does find him. Selfridge now with the disc. Yeah, that was a gutsy throw from Lindsley. Selfridge will grab it, and he's going to drive the bus. He'll drive the bus <laughs> he again. He doesn't care that Atkins made fun of it. Now he's... These celebrations are getting out of hand. That one's a callback. Eugene Gene LaRue, LaRue missing this week. He might be thinking that's the one that decides it. Obviously, the Summit will have a chance to respond, but give and go here from Miller. Miller, nothing but trust, pops it over the top. S Selfridge jogs it in, and eight seconds remain. Seven, six, five. On a three, three two, two, one. Five. He has to throw it. And that's going to be the game! Everett Saunders! Everett Saunders seals it with zero seconds on the clock! He knew the throw was coming! He knew the throw was coming! Shred win! 20-19 to 19 here in Harriman. And the Salt the Lake spike. Shred are now 8-0. and oh. They have completed the regular season revenge against their division rivals. Everett Saunders playing his last game of the season for the Shred, leaving on a mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints this Sunday, I believe, next week, and he seals the game for his team, the hometown hero. What a kiss goodbye. If you'd written it like that, I wouldn't have believed it. In front of the largest crowd that we've seen for so